video we are going to talk about 16 beta 3 when it's going to get released and what all new features are expected to arrive in this beta my name is jay and you are watching tech hyped let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time this is also a follow-up video of ios 16 beta 2 which i'm going to talk about that how is the beta 2 performing on my devices and is it worth waiting for beta 3 or just install the beta 2 on your device without waiting for the beta 3 i know you guys are really excited for ios 16 beta 3 to come out and i am really excited too so hit that subscribe button we are so close to 10k and i want to get to 10k as soon as we can now that you are subscribed to the channel and turn on notification let's get right in today's video shall we all right so apple has been doing madness with ios 16 i don't know for some reason ios 16 is just so damn unstable and so buggy for me i have got so many app crashes so many these springs on ios 16 not just on my iphones but even on my ipad on my iphone 10 there are so many bugs literally so many bugs last time i saw these many bugs was pretty sure in ios 13 or 14 and uh, the most amount of bugs i saw was in the ios 11 we all remember how bad was that this is not as bad as ios 11 but still pretty close and this is a big thing considering ios 15 barely had uh, so less bugs compared to the ios 14 and that too when ios 15 was developed in lockdown everyone was developing it in their home then apple managed to deliver such a great os with so less bugs i don't know this year there are just so many bugs and having bugs is normal by the way it is pretty normal it is a beta for a reason performance on ios 16 seems to be pretty decent i would rate it about 7.5 out of 10 it is not something that is really big i mean compared to ios 11 to 12 i remember that time the performance boost was humongous though the performance boost here from ios 15 to ios 16 is pretty minimal if not you can't even notice it because the performance boost i can barely notice it if not just see performance getting throttled down not gonna lie because there are so many places where i have seen so many stutters on even my iphone 12 and iphone 13 and 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 talking about the battery life well 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 the battery life is something which is just bit too irritating battery life on ios 16 of course yes i know before you guys start getting mad at me i know this is a beta but this is not the first time of me being on a beta that's why i'm complaining the battery life sucks really really bad the battery life sucks really it is so bad i remember when i was on ios 15 beta 3 uh, last year the battery life was pretty darn amazing and i was pretty surprised how a beta is performing so good in terms of battery screen on time and this year it's just not the same case apple is expected to release the ios 16 beta 3 later this week and 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 oh my god i'm so excited because there are chances we're gonna see some new changes and some new features arriving in this update because beta 2 was mainly some bug fixes and uh, i think apple is going on a cycle where in the first beta they're gonna give us uh, some new features the next beta they're gonna fix some bugs the next beta they're gonna improve and give us some new features and then so and so just new features then bug fix new features then bug fix this is the pattern that i think apple will be following i can't wait for beta 3 to come out i know you guys can't too so hit that subscribe button now that you've hit that subscribe button thank you so much for watching this video i will catch you guys in the very next episode thank you so much for watching my video hey kid don't ever let them get inside your head Tell you what to do in life and